Leo and Tyler are here to install the new LVP flooring. It's floating floor and we're preparing the area to start. It'll be the front of the house and it will define the straight line for the first row of boards. So this device is taking out all the little lumps and bumps. Getting rid of leftover staples and What's this stuff called? This is just a floor patch. There's different brands, different kinds. But I'm just going to use this here to ramp off this edge of all the vinyl. Yeah, I get it. Took the kids to oh, all of us a trip to Hawaii. My brother used to live there. We get done with the trip and I asked my youngest son. What was the best part of the trip? They had a big kit of Play-Doh at the house. He got to play, they, they got to play with the Play-Doh. His favorite part of the trip was playing with the Play-Doh. <laughs> What's the drying time of this? It really depends, but on this warm, warm day with particle board, this'll be not dry, but it'll be firm enough in 30, 40 minutes. Those little holes from the nails and my screws, are they a problem? No, that's all little tiny dimples. Your, your laminate floor, your vinyl plank will never dip into that or okay. ever feel it or nothing. Can you believe someone actually chose that color of flooring? Back in the 70s, oh yeah. <laughs> I'm here, so might as well get it. Flat. Sometimes people will just fill this in with a piece of cardboard or, you know, some of that old uh, laminate head foam or old piece of scrap vinyl. Just something to get that so your boards don't flop down. That'll be a nice bright room. Yes. We wanted the look of wood, but not really dark. Right. And a lot of the designs tend to go a mixture of all of a sudden lighter than darker and lighter, it kind of looks busy. Well, it's nice when you have the light colored ones that actually have some color mixed into it, but it looks good. Good. <laughs> Coming from the expert. Seal of approval. So that locks in, you pull it, lift it up at an angle? Yep. It's a hinging system there, so this one's really small. But that thin edge there slips in, riding against this rail here, and slips under a, a groove that's in there. So the whole thing just locks itself in place.
pretty elaborate cutting there. It's under the cabinet, so <laughs> that's a forgiving cut. Transforming this kitchen into a beautiful location. Covering up that ugly yellow linoleum. Didn't care for that yellow, huh? Well. The 70s gold. <laughs> Well, it matched the uh, two showers, the fiberglass. <laughs> Do you mark it right at the top layer? It's got this tongue that sticks out. Yeah. And because I want a gap, I just mark it on the edge of the tongue and cut it. And then I know that's my gap. Oh, okay. The width of that tongue. Yeah. Do you have any idea what's going around? I mean, how big a trim? Or Quarter piece? round. So today we have a father-son team putting in flooring. Yesterday we had a grandfather and son team remodeling the bathroom. Seems around here it's a family business. My youngest son got to get paychecks that didn't have any taxes taken out on him. Uh, which they thought was great up until the uh, end of the year where most everybody is getting a, a, a check back from you know, the government, all the, right. you know, the young people are getting checks back and all this kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, you don't get anything. You don't pay, <laughs> you pay nothing in. You aren't getting anything back. And all my friends are getting like $600 or whatever. I'm like, well, you made all that uh, by not paying. Oh, <laughs> Come on. There it goes. There it went. There it went. You hear it go click and it just lays down all flat all by itself. That direction. They actually put it at that angle? It, uh, it's close. Huh. It's going to get some quarter, some quarter round trim, so that's why I was kind yeah. of wondering how big it's going to be. Oh, okay, that's why the, that question. Yeah. It's not exactly 45, but it's, it's close. Yeah. You're going to leave a gap at the tub. You'd put a caulking in there, or you put a transition piece like that at the doorway. Front door, yeah. Um, you seal the transition piece, but then that still leaves a movement, a gap, so you don't have an exposed gap. Um, in here, you you could do similar. You could put uh, uh, the quarter round and then caulk the bottom of the quarter round, so oh, that something okay. hit and went up to it, it didn't go back behind the quarter round. I see. So that way it's not actually uh, preventing the expansion of the flooring. Right. And this stuff, like I said, doesn't expand and contract as much as the other stuff, the, the, the regular laminate on particle board did. But you're still not supposed to lock it in on the edges or, or nail it down or anything like that. If you put an island in and you anchor it down, you're supposed to have, you know, like a hole drilled out of that. It, your cabinet goes over and then the screw goes in. So that actually it's going into the subfloor and it's not touching your material. Okay. The tricks of floating floors. This stuff has come a long ways from what it used to be. In there. There. Close, Dutchers. Not quite. Oh, there it goes. Get it. Oh, yes. Yeah, that's good. Just this end right here is not quite. So, we just need to tap it. Give it a little bit more. It's all flat. It's just right here. It doesn't want to quite lay down flat. Hold that down. The very corner here of the kitchen is finished. Now we'll pull out the uh, fridge. Setting up some scrap pieces here, I, I guess, to have it roll on to.
Let's see if it fits. Oh, fantastic. Okay. Just like that. Great job. She knows people were in here. What's this guy? What's going on? Oh, listen to her toenails click. <laughs> Isn't this beautiful? guy says, how are we going to play tug-of-war in here? Oh, they got this one little section here remaining. I think Sky likes our new flooring. Man, it looks beautiful. We're very pleased. Almost half the house was completed in one day. Hopefully the team can get the rest done today.